Hi everyone! This school year is very different compared to previous years. Most schools have moved to online or remote classes because of the health crisis affecting the whole world. Some of us might think, how will the teachers do the things they were used to doing in physical or face-to-face -face class? For example, writing important details on the board to emphasize a lesson or for writing the task so everyone can see and copy. Also, how can teachers make students write the solution to a problem on the board, like for math and science subjects? Now, I made this video to share an alternative to class whiteboard which teachers can use during online classes. The service that we are going to use is called Google Jamboard. This is provided by Google for free. Just simply open your Chrome browser, go to jamboard.google.com, log in your Google account if you haven't logged in yet, click the plus icon to start a new board. You may want to check my tutorial video for beginners of Jamboard. You may pause this video first and watch that video if you like. I will also add the link in the description of this video. Let me show you a finished output of Jamboard that I created recently. I will identify what are the tools used here, then I will show you how to put each one of them. Here's an example of Google Jamboard in which I use the old and the new tools. So let's identify the tools that I used in this frame. This one is a simple text box. These are inserted images. These are text boxes. These are shapes. And this is a sticky note. Now how do I add a text box? I'll use the select tool first and remove this text. I am going to add a text box and type it here. I can adjust its size. and put it at the center. Now how do we add an image? So I'll remove this first, then I'll click the Add Image tool. I can either upload an image, search an image from Google Search, from Google Drive, and Photos. For now, I'll select Google Image Search. Then I'll find Picture here. So let's say the keyword is Phone Call, and I'll select this one. I'll press select button. Then, on the lower right side of the image, you will see this circle. You can drag it to the left to make it smaller. Now, how do I add a shape? Let's remove this first. I'll go to this add shape symbol and I'll select an arrow. I can use this small circle on the upper left side of the shape and then move it so that it will go upward. In order for me to change its fill color and border color, I can simply go at the top. So as you can see, this is its fill color and this is the border color. Now how do I add a sticky note? So I'll remove this first. Then I will go to the Jamboard toolbox and I'll select Sticky Note. I can even change its color. And I can even make it transparent. For now, I'll choose this color. Then I can put it somewhere here and then increase its size. In this example, we were able to use all the tools in the Jamboard toolbox. 
if I am ready to share this to my students, I just simply go to the share button and put the email addresses here. Or if I just want to give links to them, I can go to the get link area. Then I can change the access from viewer to editor. I'll copy the link and select the done button. The copied link can be put in the Google Classroom for them to access it anytime. Let's identify some uses of Google Jamboard. First, you can use it to show solutions. Second, you can also use it to label parts of an object. Third, you can share the file to students so they can create the activity in one file, but each one of them will have one frame to work on. Fourth, you can also use Jamboard to create flowcharts. You can create one, share the file to students, and allow them to create their own in the next frames. I also created a detailed tutorial video of those uses. I will add the link in the description of this video. I hope this has given you an idea of an alternative to classroom whiteboard while we can't do the physical or face-to-face -face classes. If you find this useful, please like and share so other teachers will know about this too. If you are using online tools that will help us in conducting online classes, please share that too by writing in the comment section. If you find my videos helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to press the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you! Please don't forget to leave your feedback. Please consider liking and sharing this video too. Again, this is Victor. Thank you all for watching!